Hi Leo, my face on Leo. What is up and what is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to my channel gang. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So I'm going to be doing y'all love reading for the next 48 hours, okay? I could be speaking to someone else that's in your energy or your person or this is you who I may be speaking of. Take it how I resonate and leave the rest for another Leo. Please hit that like button, please, and thank you. It helps me out and it helps the channel out. So at the bottom of the deck, there's some secrets here. There's something being hidden from you. Okay, um, maybe your person is keeping you a secret or there's a secret love or secret admirer. I feel like you're moving in silence right now, Leo, because there's more to be revealed here. Okay, these secrets, your person is refusing to change if there are secrets here. And I feel like they're not budging. I feel like they're being stubborn and both of you are standing your ground. I feel like both of you are being very stubborn. Right, because your person may be hot and cold or this is you. Hot and cold. It says sins, mixed signals, inconsistency. Yeah, there's a lack of clarity here. Okay, you really don't know what's going on, but there's more that's going to be revealed. So let's get into the spread. Now, as I was pre-shuffling, these cards jumped out. So the first card that jumped out for you was waiting. Okay, so I do see that you're waiting. You may be holding on to hope, but you're not taking action right now. You and your person are at a standstill or there's some delays here. Okay, because I feel like there's something that you're searching for. You're searching for some sort of information, Leo, okay? It says needing confirmation, searching for answers, yeah. So your person may feel like you're exaggerating small issues, okay? But I feel like um, you're searching for some answers, okay? You're waiting because you need some sort of confirmation about something, okay? And it could be, you know, your person may want their freedom, okay? It says wanting to be free, not ready for commitment, independent, happy, and single. So you need confirmation or proof that your person, you know, they want their freedom. They, they'd rather be independent, happy, and single. Or they're not ready for some sort of commitment here. Okay. Maybe they feel like um, you're exaggerating the minor issue that they, they're not ready for commitment. Okay. And so they feel like you're making it bigger than what it is. Okay. Um, I do see that, you know, you two mirror each other. You two are mirroring each other, whether you're together or not. Okay, it says something needs healing, seeing yourself in them. So you may talk alike, act alike, dress alike at times. Okay, but I feel like this situation needs healing because you're dealing with a habitual liar. Okay, this card fell out from spirit. So take it how it resonates. It says consistently lying, can't hide in lies anymore, lies exposed. So I feel like this person's lies are, are, are being exposed or they were exposed. This could happen already. This could be coming in for you within the next 48 hours. Okay, and you're cutting this person out. Okay, it says cutting ties and separation, leaving before it gets worse. You're cutting your losses and you're leaving before the situation gets any worse. Okay, because I feel like, you know, this person was against time. They were taking too long to offer you something stable, solid, and committed. Okay, they were walking on thin ice with you. And now I feel like they're rushing in before it's too late. Okay, and this person took too long to come towards you. They took a really long time because this person has player tendencies or they're a player. Right, it says playing the field, refusing to commit, grass is greener syndrome. So they always, this person has a wandering eye. They always feel like there's something better out there for them. Okay, they're always um, having their options open. You know, and you're tired of being treated like an option. Okay, that's why you guys are separated. You had to withdraw your energy from this person and disconnect from them. I feel like this relationship got weak and it was a relationship breakdown that's happened between the two of you. Okay, there may be children involved here, or you have a child, or they do. It says children involved, using child as a pawn. Yeah, somebody may be um, staying for the kids, <clears throat> or trying to use a, the children as a pawn to get back with you. Yeah, this is a karmic connection right here. I feel like this connection is full of turbulence. There's some past life unresolved issues here. This is an unsustainable relationship, okay? 
Yeah, because this person puts on a poker face, Leo. Okay? It says two-faced, lack of expression. This person has their true feelings. They hide how they really feel. They don't express it. They wear a mask. Okay? But believe it or not, this person sees you as their first true love. Okay? You are their first love. There is no competing when you can't compare. It says no one compares to you. First true love. New love experiences. Leo, I feel like if this person does not get their stuff together, there's new love that's coming in for you. It says there's someone better. A new love interest letting go of exes. There's a new love that's coming in. And this person is going to see you as their first love. This is a new love experience. Okay, they see you as no one compares to you. They can't compete where they can't compare, period. And their mission is to protect you. To protect the energy. To protect the relationship. It says protection. Don't want to hurt you. Protecting connection. They're, they are going to be very protective over you. And they're not coming in to hurt you. This person does not want to. Whoever it is that's coming in for you. Okay, this is true love. It says experiencing wholeness, unconditional love. This person wants uh, to experience wholeness with you. This person is willing to offer you unconditional love and a long-lasting bond. Because I feel like both of you have learned some love lessons in here. Okay, you guys have shifted your perspective and took what didn't work for you in the past. You took that with you as a lesson learned. And you're raising your vibration, the both of you. Okay. I feel like there's going to be a lot of sex involved. If this person does not get their shit together and this new love comes in, there is going to be a lot of sex involved. It says bond filled with lust, acting on sexual desires. You may question if you sleep with this person. You may question if this connection is love or lust because this person may be a bit obsessed with you, you know. But I do feel like at the end of the day... <clears throat> When it's all said and done, you have a lot of options. You have options, okay? I feel like this may be a difficult decision for you to make. You know, being that you just came out of a relationship. You just ended a relationship with someone. You may not have jumped into this new love relationship very, very quickly. But I feel like you're exploring the possibilities of this, okay? But I, I I just feel like you guys really have a fear of choosing wrong. Okay, you would love this connection. You would love to give this person a chance. But I feel like you don't want to choose wrong. Okay, so this may be a very difficult decision for you to make. But I feel like you guys are going to make a decision one way or another. Yeah, there's a lot of love here between you and this person. I'm just reading from the Tarot, okay, with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, yeah. Two of Pentacles. <laughs> you have a lot of love for this person. You were being very sweet to this person, very kind, very genuine, very nurturing, and they were juggling you. They were not sure of the connection with you. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Seven of Swords. This person was being very sneaky, full of lies, telling you a bunch of lies cheating they may have cheated they deceived you in some sort of way they betrayed you okay and they think they can get away with whatever it is that they were doing here okay but I feel like they're gonna you may rush in towards this person screaming and yelling and hollering at them because something was brought to your attention yeah this may cause a heated discussion or some sort of argument all right but I feel like this person, with their trickery, deceit, and underhanded behavior, I feel like this person was being very impulsive or displayed rash behavior. It was like they... They, 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 was, they was trying to be sneaky and do something behind your back. That they felt like you was never going to know about. And 
they jump right into it. Now, I could be talking about a past person. This is uh, Aquarius energy showing up. All right. I see you healing from that temperance energy. All right. Some of you are running away from this person. Like, get away from me. And this person is rushing back in. Like, where the hell are you going? They refuse to let you go. I feel like they feel guilty. They can't and they won't. Because they've been exposed. The sun card. Okay, that's your energy, Leo. They've been exposed. And they're receiving karma for it with the justice. I feel like balance is being restored for you guys. And I feel like you guys are living your best life single. Okay. Virgo energy. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like with that Nine of Cups, you may be establishing a lot of emotional feelings for this new person, sincere feelings. And you may be in search of your intuition or your emotions about this situation. Two of Pentacles, you're trying to find balance and weigh up the pros and the cons about this situation. It's like you made a decision, but you keep going back and forth on it. I figure it's because the Seven of Swords is showing up where there is some trust issues here because of the past. There is some trust issues and you're not sure if you can trust this new person who's rushing in towards you. And they're rushing in quick with the Knight of Swords. This is someone who gets what they want. Male or female, doesn't matter. Hmm. I feel like, Leo, this situation, it needs healing, temperance, energy. Be careful of rash behavior because I feel like you may come towards this new person screaming, hollering, yelling, or whatever because you feel like they're telling you a bunch of lies or they're being sneaky or there's just some trust issues here. Maybe you're trying to escape or run away from this new person. You know. But I feel like there's going to be a conversation that's going to be had here. It's going to be very direct and honest. It may be very heated. I feel it's going to be very direct. But I feel like you're going to get something off of your chest or let this person know something. Hmm. You know what I get? You may be feeling guilty after a while. And try to balance things out with this soulmate. Because I see this new person is a soulmate. I feel like this person is going to make you very happy. Very, very happy. Okay? And I feel like balance is being restored. This is someone that does things by the book. They're very honest. Okay? They may um, work in the legal force forces. I feel like there's a lot of life lessons that you have learned here. A lot of karmic lessons. You may have been calling for karmic justice with the justice card. Libra energy. Maybe connecting to a Libra. Okay. But I feel like um, for some of you, you know what I get? I also get that someone may be having legal issues here. Okay. How is this all going to play out for Leo and this new person? How is this all going to play out? Yes, yeah, someone is having legal issues. Like, this may be about a pregnancy, this may be about child support, or something else. Yeah. So, whoever this is that's receiving karma here, yeah, they may be someone who's married. Okay. I feel like, yeah, whoever this is, you had to... um be cold and detached from this person and make this head over heart decision to do so. Alright. Because I feel like you're dealing with an unemotional analytical man.
Some of you guys are spiritual gurus. You're good at your work. You're a beast at what you do here. Okay. I do see you having some sort of power or authority here. I see you have uh, a lot of manners here. You're using your discernment. You're making a head over heart decision. I feel like... This person may be receiving karma because you wanted commitment, marriage. You wanted a long-term, stable, committed relationship with them. But I feel like they were too cold and detached for that. They were giving you the cold shoulder when it came to that. And I feel like you guys, there's a discussion coming in. There's a conversation. I feel like somebody's going to be reaching out. Okay. But you're very smart, very intelligent, spiritual gurus. Some of you guys may be tarot readers. I feel like with the Six of Swords, you're moving away. Or oh, this person moved out. Yeah, this person moved out. You know, because they just took too long to offer you something stable, something solid, something committed. But I feel like... You're moving away to a place of peace and common waters. You're moving on and moving forward. With the Knight of Pentacles, something something long term, something st solid and stable is coming into you. I do see with the Queen of Wands, you're attracting a lot of people. It's someone here that is very attracted to your vibration. They're very attracted to your magnetic nature. Your confidence. Um, you're very confident, very loyal, very generous. Um, they see you as someone that is very strong. Very um, business minded. Okay. Yeah. They are very attracted to you. Very, very attracted to you. And they want to work with you. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they're moving towards you. Yep. Yep, they're moving towards you. And I feel like you're going to be shocked. The Tower. This person may have had a divorce. There may be a divorcee or they had to cut people off. I feel like this shocking tower moment is going to come in like soon after you cut this uh, air sign off. It could be a, a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Capricorn, a fellow Leo. Yeah. Yeah, see, Eight of Wands. I see travel. You may be traveling overseas. You may be booking trips to travel. You may be traveling for the holidays. Um, but I see this person. They, you may have met this person online. Or that's the only way you can communicate with them. I see them coming in towards you very quick. Very fast. Okay, before somebody else does. I do see them taking action towards you. They're rushing in. And it's very exciting. This is a very exciting time for them. Okay, because I feel like things are going to pick up fast between you and this person. Or they have. Yeah, this person may be a boss. They may have their own business. Okay, you may be a divine feminine or connected to one. Yeah, I just see that somebody ass got blocked right here. Okay, because... They, they keep playing games. It's like, when do you stop? Like, grow up already. Like, grow the fuck up. This person may have, like, a psychological issue. Okay? But they don't give a damn. They play games because they may have a mental instability. Or they just don't give a fuck. Like, they just don't care. But I see happiness is coming towards you or it's already here. I do see you pleased with life and expressing gratitude to the universe, sitting in nature, connecting with nature, trees, flowers, bushes, whatever it is. You're getting grounded. Now, I see marriage in your future. I see you making a commitment. I see solid love and a long-term relationship after a lot of disappointment. You dealt with a trickster. This person caused sorrow in your life. All right. They may have been talking shit about you, trying to make other people perceive you in the wrong way, make people look at you differently, even if it's false. 
This situation involves a fire sign. That's you, Leo. This may be a fellow Leo that you're dealing with, Aries or Sagittarius. Some of you guys may be a star, okay? It says being popular, very successful, having a platform, being recognized and known. Yeah, so you're being recognized and known, Leo. I do see you going to get a lot of attention. And you're moving on, moving forward, leaving this person behind. And I also see you moving. Okay, getting a new house. Moving away from this shady ass motherfucker who's just untrustworthy. You, they're dishonest. It's like you have to question them. You get very suspicious or even paranoid around this person. Yeah, because their energy represents a chaos agent. This person is someone who purposefully causes chaos for mischief and entertainment. They think this shit is funny and they're, they're controlling you or they were controlling you whether you notice or not. Because they know there's a spiritual connection between the two of you. But the whole while, this person was being fake as fuck. Fake as fuck. Okay. Yeah. And they just wanted to fuck. Okay. <clears throat> And I do see you let that person go. I'm just keeping it real with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. You was dealing with a gold digger, Leo. This person liked you for your money. They liked what you could provide for them. You may have been connected to an earth sign. Towards Virgo Capricorn, you have earth in your chart. Yeah. And because this person is a, is a gold digger and they only use people, they having money issues. Okay. And they're a gold digger because they have money issues. They may be unemployed. They may not have enough money right now. So... They get with people that have money or something to bring to the table. And they're stalking you. Every day. All the time. Every morning they get on your feeds. Every night they view your posts. Okay. And you may not know that this person is watching you. But they're watching. Oh yeah. They're watching. And you don't give a damn. Because you're being very cold and detached to this person. I do see you guys as a... Uh, a boss or entrepreneur, you have your own business. You may be dealing with an air sign or somebody who's from a cold climate. Or they like that cold ass air. Yeah, there were some blocks here and obstacles dealing with this person. They were too detached, too closed off, too blocked off. Alright? But I feel like there was a lot of passion. There's a lot of passionate feelings between you and this new person. I mean, you and this uh, past person. But I feel like this was meant to happen. Spirit is in control. Especially with that tower card. Spirit intervene is like, no! You are not going to keep doing this to Leo. No, nigga. No! No! <laughs> Remember what Kendrick Lamar said? No! <laughs> That's how spirit feel. No! You are not going to keep doing this to Leo. No! <laughs> Your person is receiving some major karma. Major karma. They may be fair male, lighter than darker. This was a very toxic story between you and them. Yeah, somebody's going to be reaching out to you. Okay, through text, email, or the phone. Alright. Text, email, or phone calls. Let's see. Yeah, this is a new love that's going to be reaching out to you. Okay, so you want to hear from this person. Okay, this person may be dark, a dark male. Okay, they may be dark, dark skin with a lot of melanin. Or they just like have a nice brown skin complexion. You know, they're lighter than darker. Okay, they may work with jewelry, gemstones, or crystals, or this is you. Alright, how's this all going to play out with Leo and the new love? How's this all going to play out with Leo and the new love? How's this all going to play out? You may be a young female or you're connected to one. Or you're very youthful. You may be older and look young. Very young. You're into the music. You may be a rapper, Leo, or in fashion. You may design clothes. You may have your own clothing line. You may be dropping like some sort of music CD, like a mixtape or your album. Yeah, you're more self-absorbed. You're shining. You're, you're being adored right here. You're in the spotlight, Leo. So you're either a public figure or in the public eye. Okay, how is this all going to play out? Yeah, see, this person is going to ask you out on a date. Okay, this person may work in sales, business, the airlines, the military, 
Um, they may be a real estate agent, okay, or they may work in law enforcement, or they may work inside the courthouse. Um, or this could be someone that's helping you get like a bank loan, Leo, or uh, a home, like an equity loan, or a home loan where you're renting to own, or renting... Yeah, there's a surprise coming in from Spirit. Spirit has a gift for you. Um, I do see your gifts being heightened. I feel like this past person wants to bring you something. Yeah, a twin. There's a twin flame here. Okay, I feel like you guys were in a serious connection. You guys may have been headed to marriage. Okay, but I feel like it was short term. It was short term because they wanted to control the situation. They wanted to control you and have control over you. But this card is showing up because you're taking back control of a situation that has lost control. Okay. Yeah, a soulmate is coming in. Look, and your 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 spiritual gifts are heightening. You're learning karmic lessons. You're learning the lessons that Spirit put forth for you. You're, you're, you're expanding the soul. I see a spiritual awakening. I see spiritual alignment. I see your spiritual gifts heightening. I see your intuition heightening. Yeah, there's a lot of people that want to date you. A lot of hands are out. So you may have your options open, Leo. But I see travel. You may be traveling overseas. Or someone is traveling towards you. Or you just... You're just enjoying yourself, going out traveling, going on vacations, taking trips, having fun. You may be traveling for the holidays to see family and friends. But yeah, there's a lot of travel here. And with the travel card and the Eight of Wands, that's a lot of travel. We've seen the chariot, which is more travel. So I see a lot of traveling here for you. Okay. Hmm. So that is your reading. That is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If this resonates with you, your person, your situation, or whatever it is that you are going through, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section down below. Please, 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 you guys, be sure, if you have not already, like this video up, you guys. Give this reading a big thumbs up. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. Also, Turn on your post notifications to ALL so you know every time I drop a video for y'all. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe to my channel for more readings like this. I have more content coming out for you guys. So if you're interested in that, make sure you guys stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. And let me know what you guys are going through. I love you guys so much. Until next time. Bye, Leah. I'll see y'all in the next 48 hours.